Hey, good morning, spiritual prospectors. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in this beautiful planet of ours. <clears throat> this is Mark Lanehart, the Intuitive Prospector, back for another Metaphysical Mocha Mondays here on the Ohm Times Institute. Let me just kind of change the... <clears throat> uh, there we go. That, okay. How's everybody doing out there this morning? All right. Let me just pause the music. Thanks for joining in. I'm just going to bring this down just a little bit here. All right, there we go. Now you can see me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it must be Monday morning. So how is all of the spiritual prospectors out there around the world doing this morning? Uh, we're going to be talking about um, today's topic of stop, breathe, and listen. If you're just joining me here on the Ohm Times Institute page, I'm here every Monday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern here on the Ohm Times Institute page and after this uh, 30 minute show every Monday morning we switch over to my business page called the intuitive prospector and I will have a direct Q&A with you uh, for about 30 minutes and uh, it's, it's a way to uh, just have a conversation it's a way to get a free reading it's a way just for me to uh, talk to you all of the uh, beautiful people out there around the world so if you're just joining in, thank you so much for joining in. If you'd be so kind, if this is uh, something that's of interest to you, of metaphysics, spiritualism, mediumship, psychic sciences, healing, uh, please subscribe to the, uh, the video. You can do that on the description field down below. And you can also uh, get to all of my online classes that I teach um, over on Learn It Live. And it is my Soul Adventures page where I've done about 15 classes uh, through Ohm Times and many different classes to choose from, from free meditations uh, to uh, uh, chakra vibrational um, healings to uh, your spiritual ABCs and what that entails. So uh, please check that out over at learnitlive.com. You have to register. I also have my spiritual development group that is also a part of that that we do every Wednesday that is closed to the public. So you would need to register and send me an email if uh, you're looking for spiritual development uh, online uh, every Wednesday evening. Uh, we're going to be starting at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So I'm here in Seattle, Washington. Uh, I have my studio here in the Pacific Northwest, beautiful Pacific Northwest. And one of the requirements for hanging out with me on the Monday morning Metaphysical Mocha Mondays with Mark is you got to have a cup of coffee, you got to have a cup of tea, you got to have uh, something to drink so we can hang out. I'm going to give you some philosophy, I'm going to give you some things to look forward for the week. I always pick Monday because I felt that Mondays were probably the least favorite day. And what better day to pick and inspire people? Than uh, early Monday morning, but if you're on the uh, if you're on the East Coast page uh, or on the East Coast timeline, you're you're about headed for your uh, for afternoon. And if you're here in the Pacific Northwest, uh, we're just waking up. The sun is literally uh, just coming up over the mountains here. Um, mountains behind me, right? So um, let me know where you're from. Let me know if you've joined me before. I've been doing Metaphysical Mocha Mondays now for close to a year now, believe it or not. And you can uh, um, put your comments in. I'm not uh, answering the comments right now, uh, but uh, when we switch over to the um, Q&A after show with me on the Intuitive Prospector page, just look for the Intuitive Prospector on Facebook. Uh, make sure to like it. Make sure to subscribe to it. That's a, the way that you can interact with me uh, directly where I have Q&A and I will um, to do my best to answer your questions. I will do my best to uh, give free readings. Um, just, you know, see what's going on in the world. A lot going on in the world. So this morning during meditation, uh, I came up. Uh, I thought it would be a good time to uh, take some uh, time to focus in on stop, breathe, and listen. As children, we're raised to stop, look both ways, listen before we cross the street. And as adults, sometimes we forget to do that. And if we don't stop and look both ways and listen, we could be putting ourselves in harm. And it, it's, no, it's no different for your daily journey or what I like to always call your soul adventure. It's, um, it's really taking the time to stop, breathe. A lot of people forget to breathe even. And listen. Listen to what the, uh, the inner voice is telling you. Listening to uh, what maybe your thoughts are telling you. Um, and... So today I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to give you a number for the week. Uh, the number uh, numerology number for this week is going to be the number five, and it's going to be a ch it's a change card. So there's some energy about change that's taking place. Uh, I'm going to give you the uh, crystal um, 
for this week, which is oregonite. Uh, uh, oregonite. I'm always learning new crystals. It's something I had found in uh, when I was in the island of Malta. So we'll be talking about that, and I will post pictures of um, everything that I'm talking about, uh, so you can follow up, and uh, you can always always click on the links in the description field to go to markwayingheart.com. It's kind of the one-stop shop for spiritual development, uh, my upcoming events, uh, my radio show, Inspired Living Radio, every uh, Wisdom Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we have over 100 episodes, and it's a great way to subscribe uh, on my YouTube uh, library. My YouTube channel is really growing a lot, so thank you to uh, everybody that's been uh, uh, subscribing to that. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all the awesome spiritual prospectors out there. Um, just make sure my volume was turned up. Okay. And uh, you can get all of the 100 episodes, 100 plus, been doing on the, the internet radio show. It's an internet radio show through Ohm Times Radio for the last uh, two years, over 100 episodes. Uh, this week, we're going to be having open phone lines, so it's a good way to interact, get a free reading, talk with myself, my co-host, Kim, who is in Richmond, Virginia. And we try to open the phone lines at least once a month to talk to all of our inspired listeners. So, mindfulness. Let's go on a, a, a quick journey real quick of just stopping where we're at kind of just disconnecting from the world. There's a lot going on uh, in in the world right now. And taking a nice deep breath. So take a nice deep breath with me. And just see where you're at on your journey. See how you feel. Uh, when we start to have mindfulness for our daily activities, including our mindset, including... Um, where our thoughts are, and we take the time to stop, to breathe, and to listen, uh, it reduces a lot of things. It reduces um, anxiety, it can reduce uh, depression, uh, it can reduce fear, it can reduce pain. I teach a lot on mindfulness because mindfulness is very important of doing it on a daily basis. Just like when you were a little, uh, when you were young and you were a child, it's like learning to walk. It's, you know, if you fell down, there was something inside you that, that um, you know, told you to get back up and we keep getting back up because we want to learn to walk and we want to go out and explore and see the world. And a lot of, um, you know, um, having that mindfulness and being in the present moment, I always talk about the magic in the moment. And if we just take a second to stop, to breathe and to listen, it changes your life, but most people don't do it on a daily basis. And you can do it throughout the day, in the in the morning, in the noon, and uh, at night. And just you know, it, it takes just a quick second, and you can you do this over and over again for um, a few times to where you actually feel um, kind of calm and kind of peaceful. So good deep breath. So let's activate the singing bowl real quick. Go ahead and just stop what you're doing. Hopefully you're not driving or doing anything like that if you're watching this. Um, and just take a nice deep breath and take a deep breath in all the way from the bottom of your belly. Breathing in through your nose, which allows the air to pass through your, your nasal passage, which has hair, hairs to um, act as filters. It also warms the air as it goes into the body, uh, which is energy, which is prana. And so it's important to breathe through your nose and not through your mouth because what happens when you breathe through your mouth, it goes, bypasses all of those filters, it bypasses warming the air, and it puts cold air and uh, anything that might be toxins or particles right down into your lungs. And that's where sickness comes from. So you want to make sure to be breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, and just take a second just to stop, to breathe, to listen. Where are you at on your daily journey? Where is your mindset at this morning? Have you had your coffee yet? I haven't had all of my coffee yet. What's the day look like ahead? What are, what are your anticipations? What are your fears? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts telling you? And when you work in mindfulness, when you work in spiritualism, when you work in daily meditations, Mindfulness becomes a daily practice to where you start looking forward to connecting to yourself, connecting to that energy within. Um, and again, being that, that small child that may fall down, but we get back up. So don't let life knock you down, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Stop, take a breath, listen, see where you need to go, see what makes you happy. Um, mindfulness isn't difficult 
Um, and you know, mindfulness is, is different than meditation. Meditation is a way to get into your mindset to see where your mindset and thoughts are. Mindfulness is just paying attention to what your thoughts are also telling you. So it's not difficult to, to have a focus and awareness on mindfulness. We just need to Being in the physical body and experiencing, you know, different um, adventures and memories and foods and people. Um, some good, some not so good. Some frustrating, some happy. Uh, but that's just bringing a balance and being in the um, physical uh, body, not just the spiritual body all the time. So it, it's important to um, have mindfulness and find a balance. And again, mindfulness isn't difficult. We just need to remember to do it. And that's where most of us uh, miss the mark. Mindfulness is also just being aware. It, it's really simple. Um, it's being aware of what is happening right now without wishing it were different. If we were wishing it were different, that's where the ego comes in. That's where the control and we start going into the future of what we think the world should look like or we go into the past of what we didn't do. Um, even this weekend, I took a break uh, from everything and I was in a beautiful um, spiritual workshop with the wonderful Mavis Patilla a uh, wonderful spiritual teacher. I like to say that she's my spiritual grandma. She actually looks like my grandma. It's so, it's so weird because she reminds me so much of my grandma who is in the spirit world. But Mavis has been doing spiritualism for over 50 years and just a, a great teacher, a wonderful mentor, and, um, and just a, a, a good friend. So thank you. I want to give a shout out to Mavis and Jean and Allison. Allison ran the event. Jean was also the coordinator and Mavis taught us all for the weekend. So just want to give a shout out to them and just say thank you for the opportunity to learn to grow in um, spiritualism, mediumship, and again, just uh, putting that time in uh, to be mindful of what is happening in the present moment. And again, we miss that. We miss that magic in the moment because most of us are missing the present moment. So how do we get into that present moment during meditation this morning? Because there's so much going on in the world, so much fear, so much... Um, you know, just tragedies with the you know the energy of Vegas that, that happened uh, to you know hear, to keep hearing about World War III and it just causes a lot of fear and anxiety and pain for people. So don't pay attention to that. Um, you know, pay attention to how you're feeling and where your journey's at, and where your mind's at. And again, just being aware of what is happening right now and not wishing um, it were different. Uh, enjoying the pleasant without holding on. Uh, to the things that uh, no longer serve your path. So um, I always like to say, don't just look, observe. Don't just swallow, taste. Don't just sleep, dream. Don't just think, feel. And don't just exist, live. And you can do that through the being in the present moment of mindfulness. And uh, just start to you know learn all the different things that come on a daily basis with an attitude for gratitude. So um, again, if you want to join me uh, for the uh, Q&A after show, it's going to be over on the Intuitive Prospector page at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11.30 a.m. Eastern. It's a great way to connect with me. I can say hi to you. I'm not seeing anybody's comments right now because I turn them off so I can cover today's topic, give you some inspirational uh, messages, inspire you, uh, and get you on the path for the week for your soul adventure um, and staying in, in the positive with much mindfulness. And again... How do we do that? We stop, take in a nice deep breath, just get still, listen, listen to the sounds around you, listen to nature, listen to the thoughts in your head, are, they, are the thoughts telling you what you need to hear, are they not telling you, are they, you know, you don't need to believe every single thought that's in your head, so it's really becoming disciplined in your mindfulness and in your mindset of what, um, is important to you what serves your path what serves your higher good so even my own my, my own journey is is through a lot of daily meditations mindfulness discipline and again as children we are taught to look and listen both ways before crossing the street why don't we do that as adults to look listen and feel look stop breathe listen and see the world around us and interact with that world around us um, 
So again, stop, breathe, and listen. So one of the things that I'm adding to uh, help you if you are a practicing psychic medium, if you're uh, wanting to work with your clairs, um, I do offer a few classes online for working with the clairs. Different clairs is like your senses. Um, it's, it's moving past your look, listen, um, or look, listen, look, hear it, see it, taste it, touch it, smell it. It's working into the clair. So to this morning, uh, I want to talk about clairsentience, which is the ability to feel energy. Your skin is your largest organ on your body, and it's a way to feel things that are unseen. And just because it's unseen doesn't mean that it's not there. Uh, just like the wind, we see the effects of the wind, uh, but we don't actually see the wind with the human eye. Um, major debates for hundreds of years before the microscope or the telescope were... Um, discovered and you know the debates that well if you can't see with the human eye it doesn't exist and the microscope changed all that the telescope changed all that it changed beliefs it changed religions um, you know so just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there but one way that you can feel it is through the power of clairsentience and so if you're working as a medium as myself uh, in developing um, that communication with the spirit world, those that have come incarnated into the physical form and have decarnated in back into the spiritual uh, world, mediumship is that connecting. And one of the things I wanted to bring today was clairsentience, which is to perceive um, through the language of feeling a relationship you've may you maybe never have received before. If you're a working medium, uh, try to work with the relationships of people who were actually people that have come through to connect with you and just see if there is any kind of relationship that you've never felt before. Different from a grandma, from a grandpa. You know, when I go to workshops, uh, like I did this weekend, a lot of grandmas and grandpas come through um, in these workshops. But try to have, you know, coworkers, friends, animals, a relationship that you've never had, you've felt before, um, and, and work with that through the power of clairsentience uh, to feel on your body um, and perceive a language of feeling a relationship that you've never felt before. So that's the clairsentience uh, for the Claire this week. Um, the uh, number for this week is the number five. Um, I pulled the change card for you. So if you're watching this this morning, uh, again, thank you for participating, being here on a Monday morning uh, over a nice cup of coffee or a nice cup of tea. I appreciate it. Um, the card that I pulled for numerology is the change. So pay attention to the number five that might be coming up for you. Pay attention to the change energy. Um, when I pull this card, um, it's telling me that anything can happen. Um, and you know, when you when I draw this card specifically, the change energy, um, it's telling you that you know you're encouraged to um, think of your life as an adventure with an exciting uh, opportunity that could happen at any moment. Um, and then not coming from a place of fear, uh, again, a lot of us can come from a place of fear because we haven't, ex we haven't experienced it before or it's the unknown and the mindset wants to go right to a place of, I don't know if I can do that versus, you know what, let me give it a, let me give it a go, let me give it a try. That's where you start to feel alive and, and again, it's, you know, it's just urging you through the power of fives or the, the color blue or more of a turquoise that if there's any change energy that happens on your path, uh, this week, and I do this every week with different messages, um, is to embrace the um, expansion, the movement of that energy, and the change that comes with that. And, uh, you know, dare to dream, dare to explore, dare to live is my tagline for my spiritual practice that I talk about all the time. Uh, be inspired, inspire others, um, and do that through the power of change. Change is not a bad thing. Change is the only thing that, is, that I've found to be consistent in life. So uh, you might as well embrace it. You can't stop the waves of change, but you can sure as heck learn how to surf them. So be a big wave surfer, all right? Um, <clears throat> Just making sure I'm uh, keeping track of time because time goes by so quick. Again, if you want to join me uh, every Monday morning, I'm here, Metaphysical Mocha Mondays, Home Times Institute. Check out my online classes, online library, spiritual development, and you can also check out my online radio show, Inspired Living Radio. This week we are opening the phone lines, so you'll want to uh, visit our Facebook page, Inspired Living Radio. You can get to all of this through uh, my online classes, my radio show, my spiritual development. My upcoming events, just go to marklanehart.com. You can internet search the Intuitive Prospector. You can uh, subscribe to the page, my YouTube page, which has all of these videos, all of my past radio shows, and some of my uh, soul adventures from hiking to diving. So I'd love to have you check that out and subscribe to that. You can also sign up for my newsletter, Soul Adventures, which I haven't had a chance to write because I've been traveling a lot. So I'm, I'm, ha I'm actually leaving for Boston here in a few days. 
uh, for a spiritual event and then up in uh, Canada for another spiritual event. But I promise I will get back to my Soul Adventures news letter for you uh, to inspire you. I'm going to be talking about a few cool topics. Um, I, this week uh, for your crystal, uh, we are looking at um, uh, Ergonite. Argonite? Argonite. I think you, you spelled A-R-A-G-O-N-I-T-E. As me as an intuitive prospect, I thought it'd be fun to bring crystals and stones and, and something that you might want to go out and prospect for. And uh, I've worked with a lot of crystals, a lot of stones. One of the stones and crystals that I brought back from the island of Malta, which is just south of Sicily, down below Italy, I brought this back specifically. Um, I'll be talking about that at a, at a later date because uh, I'm still researching it. Uh, but the other stone uh, that comes from the island of Malta is aragonite. And it's it's kind of a, a whitish, uh, yellowish gold um, color. It has a little bit of browns in it. Um, it's also, it can have some blue in it too. Uh, but its um, appearance comes in, at, it's usually small and it's chalky and fibrous or translucent, transparent with distinct uh, little sputniks on it. It's kind of, it's very similar to this um, in, in the little sputniks that are on it. Um, but what it's used for, it's um, it's earth healing and it's a grounding stone. So if you're in if you're in the way of needing healing, which today is talking about, stop, breathe, and listen. Bring a stone or a crystal into that. Put it in your pocket. I, I carried uh, a whole bunch of crystals in my pocket over the workshop just to help me keep grounded, help me to open up my heart chakra, which is the rose quartz. Um, but this stone of um, oregonite is to keep you grounded but it's also a healing stone it's easily obtained so if you want to check it out you can find it out in, in your local shop uh, usually it comes from uh, Britain or Spain over in the European uh, area again the island of Malta they have it uh, where I visited and it's just uh, it's really the earth goddess energy if you will it's an attunement to that earth energy it also encourages um, conservation for the planet uh, taking care of the planet making sure that we're mindful mindful, there's that word again, of conservation for the planet, for resources, for how, uh, you know, um, are we recycling, are we um, composting? I know here in Seattle, we're very big on recycling, we're very big on composting, and making sure that we're very uh, mindful of the environment, because this is where we're at today, and, you know, we come on the shoulders of, you know, everything is built on the shoulder shoulders of others, so we need to be mindful because the generations behind us are depending on us to leave a, a clear path, a healthy path for the earth and not you know, pollute the oceans with plastic. So get away from plastic, start drinking out of glass bottles, um, use the, the stone to really um, get in tune with Mother Earth um, and have a mindset and, and be mindful of, of what you're doing in your, your daily uh, journey because you can really make a difference as well. It, it all starts with you if you wanna be the change in the world it starts with you if you want to see those changes ripple out. So the uh, last one I want to leave you with is um, this morning is the um, raccoon uh, animal totem card. So I'm going to give you the raccoon for this morning. Um, the raccoon is just telling you that you have everything that you need. And the reason that I'm giving the raccoon um, card this morning, i got just a few minutes here, um, but before the workshop started on uh, last week, um, I was sitting in my hot tub meditating like I always do. I did a little bit of qigong in the morning. And as I was in my meditation, almost wrapped up my meditation, um, I heard some sound, something step on the steps of my hot tub. And uh, it was enough that I thought it was somebody coming to ask me a question. And when I opened my eyes, I'm not kidding, there's a raccoon with its paws up on the hot tub like this, looking at me in the hot tub. Now he was there probably for the water. Uh, didn't know I was there, but it was a, it was a nice animal connection. Um, it was a nice interaction with the, the with the uh, the world of nature, and uh, we had just this quick stare off, like, "Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, what are you doing here?" And then he went running off, and I stood up thinking, "How cool is that?" But it was it was interesting because my meditation was focused in on you know any kind of doubts that I may have had, and when in, um, the raccoon shows up, I know some of you know people refer him to as trash pandas, but it's still life. It's still an animal. Um, and it's just saying that the resources you need for the current situation are readily available. So it was almost like the spirit world was coming through to say, hey, we've got you. Trust in us. We're there for you. So it was a really cool experience. So your animal totem spirit, uh, your spirit totem animal for this week is the raccoon. You have everything that you need. Check out the stone I was talking about. Um, also, you know, pay attention to your clairsentience um, as far as feeling a relationship that you maybe have never um, 
um, felt before. And most importantly, take the time, you know, uh, to stop, breathe, listen, make that part of your mindfulness, make that part of your daily journey. Um, you know, every morning we are born again. Um, and what we do today is what matters most, not about the past, not about the future. So breathe, step back, think, then react. I always like to say observe, don't react. And you can do that through the power of breath. Power of the breath is really important to get you into that place to calm the mind and uh, just find your connection with your daily journey. Uh, and being a spiritual prospector in search of your own spiritual goal. That's why I'm here. That's my role. Um, I'd love to connect with you through my online classes, connect with you through the radio show. Please visit MarkLaneHart.com for all of the information, all the upcoming events. I will be in the Boston, Massachusetts area this weekend for a spiritual event, a spirit workshop, and a private uh, demonstration in Spirit Circle. I hope to connect with you. Uh, until next week, be kind, be caring, be compassionate, and don't forget, stop, breathe, and listen. Have a great week, everyone. Heading over to the Intuitive Prospector page now for a direct q and I hope that you will uh, join me, and I'll try to put that comment, uh, that link in the comment section as well if you'd like to join me for the after show. Have a great Monday uh, and the rest of your week, everybody. Take care. Namaste.